my brother and my sister. Uh, I'm here again to help you to understand better the miss principle in the body of Jesus in United States and around the world is discipleship. You don't hear a lot of pastors or churches doing discipleship, training the people to do discipleship. And, but I want to help you today about this principle, okay? I'll be back. Okay, my brother and my sister, I'd like to share with you uh, 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 the practice, how you can do discipleship, okay? And let's have as a reference, of course, but the Great Commission, uh, Matthew chapter 28, 18, 19, 20. But let me focus in the 19, okay? The most important thing that you need to understand, uh, discipleship, it's a clear commandment for you to, that you have to obey. You have to make a disciple of all nations. This is the clear goal. Make a disciple of all nations. So you have to have this clear target in your, in your mind. And say, what? I believe in the United States, I'm going to, I have to become a missionary? No, live in the United States to go to another nation. Maybe some of you are going to be called, like me. I was called to be a missionary when I was 18 years old. So maybe God is going to do this with you. But no, this commandment is for everybody. So this means that you can pray for another nation. And here, you can, you, you know, United States, you have several nations here that you need, to, you need to understand that these nations inside of the United States, they have a subcultures that you need to have a clear goal as church to, to reach out these, these, these uh, subcultures in the United States. Uh, our name here is the Women in Jesus, our nation's Christian center. I, I, I put this, our nations, because of this. Because I know that you are calling as a body of Jesus it to reach out every subculture, any culture inside of our neighborhood, inside of our city. So the clear goal is our nations. Make disciples. What is important you understand as well, okay? Uh, this clear goal is make disciples of all nations. But how are you going to make disciples? Obey this order. If you go to Greek, there is a order, okay? Make disciples, it's not an option for Christians. Uh, it's a order. But you say, how are you going to do this? Uh, it's so important. You go. In Greek, this word, go, if you go to Blue Letter Bible, and you click over this verse 19, and you go to interlinear, you're going to see there that this word go means a, 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 a leader over. Leader, yes. Discipleship is about you believe that you can influence people. Uh, where you go. I'm using here the definition of John Maxwell. John Maxwell says this, that leadership is about influence. You're so deep involved with Jesus and love for Jesus. You go every day to the sixth place to meet Jesus, to spend time worshiping, praying, study the Bible. That when you live, you live to influence others, to get to know Jesus, and you can share the gospel with these people. Always with a goal. Challenge the day to enter in discipleship. One of the, 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 the largest mistakes that people is making, United the Christians is, is doing here, they share Jesus, but they don't challenge you to discipleship. Because discipleship is about you be leader over people and take care of that people. I'm going to explain better when you go for the point four. But the second thing that's so important, uh, yeah, you have to make disciples with this clear goal. All nations, where you go, you be a leader influencing people. But you have to understand that this process of discipleship have to make your disciple become not stay always a spiritual baby, but growing, developing, 
and he be baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. He need to be baptized to focus in a local cell church. You know that the primitive church, they always they were cell church. They always they were meeting in houses. They are meeting in forests. I have been in Rome and I, I visited the, 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 the San Calist uh, catacomb. And, and that was one of the place that they was meeting there because they are suffering persecution. And the, 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 the Roman people, they have fear of the cemetery, like a lot of people have today, right? So the Christians, they, they don't fear be among the dead people because dead people is dead people. So they use be there down there, under, in that, in that caves under, Understand to 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 have meetings together, life is group, cell church together. Understand? So in this circumstance, always they are with this focal share Jesus disciple, but they knew my discipleship, I have to take care of my spiritual baby and, and be there with him and, and help him to grow to develop, be baptized and be part of a local church. The baptism with water make you member of a local church. A lot of people today become rebels, say I don't need a church, I don't need to be part of anybody, and it is they are disobeying Jesus. Of course, I'm not saying that every Christian church is a good church. Unfortunately, in a lot of Christian church, no longer Jesus is alive there. No longer the, whole, the Bible is preaching there and the Holy Spirit manifests with power there. I, I, some church, of course, it, it's not worth you be there anymore. But if this church is a community of love, a community that help you to share, learn how to share Jesus, and it's helping you to develop this practice, to, to, to make disciples of all nations, you need to be there. Do you understand? And, and if this church, it is natural happens in this process when you have one, two, three disciples. Right? I do this. I have several, several disciples that disciple during the week. And, and for you to maximize your time, you put in a life group. And you, get, you, want, you want more for Jesus, more, and you put in another life group. And from this life group, you get leaders. Right? And you, you create a team. And this team can be your 12. 12 is a reference number. Don't need to be 12, 12. But 12, Jesus have 12, Jesus have 72, and from 72 he got 12. You understand? So get a team, focus in discipleship. The last thing important, tit. This tit here, it's in Greek, the emphasis, it's you know the doctrine. Jesus says, tit what I'm teaching to you. But this teaching is a personal encounter with Jesus. When you study the Bible, Mood said that, oh, the Bible is going to put you far from the devil, or the devil is going to put you far from the Bible. Because if you understand that the Bible is the living word of God, you're going to study, you're going to go deep in the doctrines of the, the Bible. This is the point. Sit the profound doctrine of Jesus, the Gospels. Study books that can help you to understand these doctrines. And because in Acts 2, that the, say that the church was being the house and the houses, praying together, break bread together, or getting a dinner, lunch together, and they are, they are in the foundation of the doctrine of the, uh, the apostles that they receive from Jesus. You need to become this disciple, this didaskalos, this master, that you are so focused on winning people and disciple people, that your discipleship is with a profound doctrine that make your disciple grow and become strong believers that reproduce the process. Yeah, this is the challenge that the Holy Spirit is giving to you. This is something practical for you to understand how to do discipleship. Watch again this video, okay? Get notes of these videos. Learn. Let the Holy Spirit empower you because the true Christian do discipleship. Make a disciple of our nations. 
If you never had any disciple in your life, you are disobeying Jesus. Your Christianity, you have to, 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 to question if you are true Christians. True Christian, because the true Christian obey Jesus in the Great Commission and do what Jesus did. Discipleship. Let me pray for you. The Holy Spirit come now over my brother, my sister, this pastor, this leader, that they are burning and they, they desire to live more in obedience to you. Now they can receive the empowerment to understand that they are missing obey you in the Great Commission, make a disciple of our nation. This order that is created there, help them, convince them from today, today they start win people and get involved with the people in discipleship. In Jesus' name, Father, I pray. Amen. Okay, my brother, my sister, uh, if you didn't subscribe yet to our channel, you can do now, okay? And activate the bell as well. If you want to learn more about discipleship, we have more videos here in our playlist. Okay. And if you want to talk with me, say, Pastor, I'd like to learn more. Yeah, we can talk on your Facebook. It's appearing now on Facebook as well here. And, and, and you can go there in your Facebook and leave some message. And I'm going to answer to you. And I'm going to help you to learn discipleship. And follow us in our Instagram. Get more information about our ministry, our church. And you can do this together. We can empower you to become a powerful disciple. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. See you in the, in the next video.